biggest mistake I see founders and CMOs make is not understanding the difference between retention rate and repeat customer rate. On the one hand, Shopify does a really good job of showing you what your repeat customer rate is. That is, is the percentage of total customers in a day, how many of those have already been a customer? Now, founders and CMOs get really excited about this because it's like, oh, people love our product because look at our repeat customer rate. It's high, it's 70%, 80%. Like, that's a really good thing. And I'm here to say, no, it's not. What did he say? Retention rate is the number of customers that I acquire that come back in a given time period. If I acquire a thousand new customers in the month of January and 500 of them come back within the following 12 months, my retention rate is 50%. Customers will always attrition out. What that means is a customer will not be your customer forever. At some point or another, the customer will leave. For example, let's say I sell baby food. Baby food sells to parents, parents of babies. Babies only eat baby food for a year or two. I could have a 50% retention rate, which would be great but I need to keep in the back of my mind that I'm only gonna have that customer for maybe 18 months. However, if I look at my repeat customer rate every day and it's 70%, I would be fooling myself to think that that's a really good thing. My repeat customer rate is 70% and my average lifetime for a customer is 18 months. What happens in 18 months? I'm gonna lose 70% of my customers. And so what's really important is to understand the dynamic between the two. If I'm going to acquire two customers and I'm gonna keep one for 18 months, I need to make sure that my repeat customer rate isn't too high every single day or every month. Because what that means is I'm going to be inverted in about 18 months when those customers age out of my business. Oh my. It's the product R&D side to create products that can keep the customer inside of the business for as long as possible, addressing different age gaps and different needs of their customer as they age with them. It's on the marketer side to make sure that they don't invert their repeat customer rate relative to attrition rate, because otherwise there's no business in two years. My name is Gabe. I run a firm called Everything Bagel. If you found this valuable and you want us to look at your business, we do do free audits. Shoot me a DM or send us a message through our website, everythingbagel.com.